Bitches, bitches, we're back for more Dragon Ball Super, and now we're on to episode 34. This episode is called Piccolo vs. Frost. Bet everything on the Makin Kapo Sapo. <laughs> Makin Sapo Kapo la 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 la. Of course, in English, it's the special bean cannon. So this episode picks up with the aftermath of Goku's loss to Frost. Now, Goku's knocked out. Everyone is shocked. Chi-Chi runs down to check up on him, and uh, he wakes up. He's okay. And Frost kind of like, you know, it's a good sport about it. You know, he says like, oh boy, I barely won. I'm not even sure how I was able to do that against you. You pushed me beyond my limits. I almost lost. And you know how Goku is. Goku is like, oh wow, you know, that's my bad. You, I don't even know how you attacked. I guess I was too reckless. You know, he's like smiling and stuff. So it's all happy times. And like Frost, you know, kind of raises, you know, Goku's hand up so that the crowd can like clap for him and stuff. So then Goku goes back up to Beerus's platform and Beerus, you know, eats his ass out basically over the fact that Goku, you know, easily could have beaten Frost and probably like one punch if he was at, you know, full power Super Saiyan Blue, and Beerus is not happy, and Goku's like, ah, oh, well, I thought I could win at Super Saiyan, I'll beat him next time, and, you know, Beerus is like, there is no next time, if you lose, Champa gets your planet forever, you dumb fuck, Champa then, you know, kind of disses them across the room or area or whatever, and is like, oh, yo, I hope he wasn't your trump card, you bitch, you nervous, ha ha ha, and, you know, Beerus, after being taunted, by Champa, kind of is like, oh yeah, good fight, Goku, you know, yada, yada, yada. So then the referee determines, okay, it's time for Piccolo to step up to the uh, plate here. And Piccolo, you know, begins to walk down to the arena, and he asks Goku, like, do I have a chance? And Goku says, nope. And it's funny, Piccolo, like, he's like, oh, you bastard, of course you're gonna tell me the truth. And he says, like, is there even any point to me fighting? And Goku says, well, yeah, Vegeta will be have Vegeta will have to fight all the rest of the fighters after you. If you can even wear Frost down a little bit, you'll be helping Vegeta out a lot. And Piccolo says, sure. And, you know, flies down to the ring. And, you know, it's funny. He's kind of being tactical here. He's like, feel free to power down, you know, out of your final form. You won't need that against me. And Frost is kind of like, I'll be sure not to kill you. I don't have enough power left for that anyway. And we finally get to see Piccolo take off his, uh, you know, his cloak after a while, and he tosses it off. And, you know, Goku is kind of, like, you know, happy about that. And then it cuts over to Vegeta, and Vegeta thinks to himself, like, there's something spishy, uh, fishy here. There's no way, you know, Goku would just lose to that attack. Well, let me say Kakarot, you know, that's what he says. There's no way Kakarot would lose to an attack like that. Uh, because Piccolo had theorized, you know... It's possible Goku got careless when defending against Frost's attacks, and, you know, he got hit to the head and he suffered some uh, brain damage, you know, he got a concussion. And then uh, Jacko flies up and sits down next to Vegeta, and Vegeta's kind of like, what the fuck do you want? And Jacko just says, uh, there's a better vantage point from up here. So if you guys remember, when Frost made his attack on Goku, it cut to Jacko, and, like, he had, like, a... Uh, kind of surprise slash intrigue reaction. So he might have seen something. And then by saying he has a better, you know, viewpoint from where Vegeta and Beerus is at, that makes me think maybe there was something that, you know, went down with Frost. Now, the, Pic the battle between Piccolo and Frost begins. And Piccolo, I guess his strategy here is he's going to dump all of his energy into the special beam cannon, you know, the Makin Kaken Sopo or whatever. <laughs> He puts all of his energy into it, and he starts charging up the special beam cannon and dodging around. You know, Frost is doing tons of attacks. Goku is like, oh, it's been a while since I've seen that. And Vegeta is like, it's a dumb attack with a dumb, obvious weakness. <laughs> and then Go Goku is kind of like, oh. Uh, but Piccolo keeps dodging around. You know, he shoots out some, uh, like, laser beams from his antenna on his head. And Goku's like, oh, I haven't seen that for a while. And it's just like, you really just do gotta appreciate Goku, man. He's just so cheerful. But Frost keeps at it with uh, all the laser attacks, you know, shooting as many beams as he can. 
and one of them actually pierces through Piccolo's right knee, so Piccolo goes down with that, and he's not really able to move. Then, you know, Frost kind of gloats, like, I got you, you're not going to be able to run, you know, with this now. And mind you, remember, Piccolo is still charging his special beam cannon this entire time. Piccolo then uses some sort of variant of the multi-form and creates uh, what looks like to be a bunch of illusions or a bunch of clones uh, kind of surrounding Frost, I guess, to distract Frost from which exactly Piccolo is the real one. Then uh, Champa kind of like, you know, gets mad and tells the referee like, this is bullshit, I want a yellow card, disqualify him. And the referee says that, you know, it's a fighting tactic, it's fine. And then it's funny, Beerus throws in a hilarious line where he goes, you know, this is a fighting match. During a match, a referee is even higher than a god. And it's hilarious because Whis looks down and he's like, do you really believe that? And Beerus is like, fuck no. Frost at that point kind of does like an energy shockwave. And I do have to say that a lot of his uh, energy attacks do seem quite similar to attacks that Frieza used, uh, you know, in the Dragon Ball Z Frieza saga. So that is cool. Uh, after that, it erases all of the, you know, multi-form clones Piccolo has created. And so then Frost is able to really rush Piccolo down. And, you know, you know the audience, you know, Whis and Goku, they're like, shit, Piccolo's not going to be able to shoot that blast at such close range. And Frost kicks Piccolo's injured right knee, and that kind of causes Piccolo to lose balance. And then Frost punches him, and, you know, Piccolo loses the light from the special beam cannon you know it looks like he loses all of his energy off of it all the energy he charged and he starts falling back and frost is kind of like ah, i got him and then just at that moment piccolo uses his stretching arm technique and kind of wraps frost up and piccolo reveals that that was what his true plan was to you know in the moment that frost thought he kind of had you know got rid of uh, Piccolo's energy, made Piccolo's energy disperse off of that attack, then is when he could kind of wrap up Frost, and that would guarantee his victory if he could hit Frost with the special beam cannon. And Piccolo kind of tells him, like, yeah, yeah, fucker, you don't know this, but in Universe 7, I'm known as a strategist. Then Frost kind of, like, gives him little props, and then it cuts down to his arm, and you see a little hole on his arm. Now, when I was looking for uh, what you know, picture I was going to make the uh, thumbnail for episode 33, I did see this, that he has this little hole, what looks to be like in his right wrist, and you see him kind of raise this up, and you know, Piccolo's arm is kind of surrounding Frost, like holding him in place, and you see Frost lift his arm up, and then, you know, Piccolo kind of all of a sudden gets drowsy, just like what happened to Goku, and then at that point, Frost says, ah, you're open, breaks free from Piccolo's arm and then rushes in and kind of shoots like a little laser attack right through Piccolo. Uh, then, you know, Piccolo is off balance and lets loose the special beam cannon, which hits the top of the dome that everyone is in and actually destroys it, showing just how ridiculously powerful that attack was. Uh, Vados immediately fixes it, but it is interesting that you know, we saw a lot of attacks, you know, Goku was shooting Kamehameha's and stuff that were just being deflected like nothing, and Piccolo's special beam cannon blew it the fuck up. But, you know, after uh, Frost shoots that blast through Piccolo, Piccolo's done, he, he's he been defeated, and Frost is declared the winner. But as Frost is declared the winner, Jacko jumps up and says, Objection, uh, you know, Frost has a weapon, search his right arm, there's a hidden needle or a hidden weapon in there. And, you know, Champa gets really pissed and is like, fuck you. And then um, the Saiyan jumps up and he says, no, no, no. He's a, a noble hero. He wouldn't do this. I fought against space pirates with him on planet, you know, Mayonnaise or whatever. Mayonai or something. Mayonai. And then Vegeta and Beerus jump up and they're like, yes, yes, do this. Check him out. See if he does have a weapon. And Champa's like, oh, you bastard, fine. But if there's nothing found, I'll destroy Jacko. And Jacko's like, whoa, 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 never on second thought. And Beerus is like, no, check. I don't care if he gets destroyed. And then Vegeta says the same thing. And Jacko's like, oh, it's like, damn, man. But the referee checks out Frost. And you see him, like, he's kind of, like, touching the arm where the, the needle is or you know the hole is on his arm 
and like the needle kind of pops out and the referee touches it and he kind of gets drowsy and falls to the ground and when that happens he says like oh shit like you know jacko was right frost says no no this is just a normal part of my body and the referee's like bullshit there's clearly signs of body modification and he changes the result he says frost is disqualified piccolo is the winner of the last match then champa and the saiyan from universe 6 are kind of like shocked they're like what the fuck why would he do that and vados kind of says like this is his true nature He's actually the leader of a space pirates, an underground organization that attacks planets. And then he comes in as a savior to save it. So he secretly is leading this evil organization. He starts the wars, but then he'll resolve them himself, purchase the war ravaged lands at like a super low price. And then he restores and resells them for a huge profit. So in truth, He's a huge fucking asshole. He's exactly the same thing as Frieza. Now, I gotta say, this is a little disappointing. I was actually kind of intrigued by, like, a good version of Frieza. That could have been interesting. Especially maybe if there's some sort of event later on. Maybe, like, Goku and Vegeta would need, like, Universe 6's assistance with some great enemy or something. And, like, Frost could help them out. But no, Frost is actually an evil asshole. And Vegeta even says... You know, this universe or not, there's no way Frieza could ever be a good man. And then Frost kind of like disses Piccolo. You know, Piccolo was like, it was me who fell into your trap, you know, not you falling into mine. And Frost is like, well, you didn't know how I fought Mr. Strategist, you know, talking down to him or whatever. Then Champa gets pissed and goes to Vados like, what the fuck? Why did you bring this piece of shit here? And Vados says, you said, what a pain, just bring me warriors who will win. And Champa just goes, fuck it, and raises his hand. He's about to blow um, Frost up when Vegeta jumps up and says, no, 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 don't worry about any of that bullshit. I am going to fight and defeat Frost right here. And the referee tells Vegeta, like, no, you can't do that because the decision was reversed. Piccolo is going to be the next fighter. And Vegeta says, well, funny enough, Piccolo just forfeited. And, like, the camera zooms in on Piccolo's face and he just goes, yeah, guess I am. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, okay. Uh, and then Champa sort of agrees to this because Vados like, tells him, like, you know, this basically counts as our win. They lost their fighter. We didn't lose ours. There's no downside for us at all. And Champa goes, okay, you know, Frost, if you win here, I'll forgive you embarrassing me. If you win the next match, then I'll give you financial support for your organization. So it's like, oh, great, 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 great. So then the episode cuts off with Vegeta and Frost about to fight. And I gotta imagine, our boy Vegeta is gonna tear that ass up. Because Goku was dominating Frost as Super Saiyan 1. I gotta imagine, like, Vegeta better start the fight off. Super Saiyan Blue, one hitter quitter, bow, bitch, you're done. Uh, but it is funny, right as it ends, like, Frost starts talking, and Vegeta's like, shut up, your voice is, you know, such an annoyance to my ears, and Frost is kinda, you know, like, like, what? And it's like, oh yeah, Vegeta, you know, he fucking hates Frieza. And then in the preview for the next episode, we see a couple shots, we see, uh, Vegeta battling Frost, it's a shame because we see Super Saiyan Vegeta, no Super Saiyan Blue, but the other thing that's actually kinda interesting is, they show... Uh, the character who I described as a combination of Perfect Cell and Final Form Frieza, they show him what looks like attacking Frost. So we'll see what happens with that in the next episode. I'm, I'm starting to get pumped now. Dragon Ball Super is really starting to win me back, you know, now that we're out of the bullshit and into the real fire. The fire, it's so hot. It's Dylon, 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 and Dylon now. <laughs>